How are you doing folks? Joe Value here for Cold Beer Sports on Sunday evening with just the one for tomorrow, Monday. Um, I had two planned originally but uh, the horse uh, son of Hypnos who done us a good turn last time, he won, uh, I think it was 11 to 1 he won it the last day for us. I was going to tip him up again tomorrow down in uh, Listol but uh, it looks like the rain is going to arrive tonight and into tomorrow morning and he's a horse that I just thought you know, he made such improvement on decent ground the last time uh, in Galway that, um, you know, I don't think he wants it too boggy, to be honest with you. And Lestol, when they do get plenty of rain, it can turn into an awful uh, bog, really. So, um, yeah, look, just keep an eye on the weather, I suppose, you know, if, if, or the ground maybe after the first couple of races, if it's not too bad. Um, if, you know, if it's it's good to yield, then I think they're calling it at the moment, but I can't see that lasting. Um, it'll probably be on the soft side, uh, so you know he's you know he's fourteen sixteen to one. I could stick him up there, but you know um, you know just see how the first couple of races are, I suppose. And um, if the ground doesn't look too bad, it might be worth something small. But uh, I would have he would have been a strong bet for me you now if the uh, rain was going to stay away, which it's not. But uh, it is going to stay away at Warwick, so that's going to suit us. And the three thirty-five at Warwick, a horse called Morrow Man, who I tipped up before, he ran quite well for us. I I also went for him in a big way the last time, he was meant to run, but uh, he didn't. He was declared a non-runner. I think that was only because it was ten days after his previous run, and he might be a horse that needs plenty of time between races. Uh, he's likely enough raced. But good ground is important to him, and at the moment the ground in Warwick is good, good to form in places, and there's no rain forecast. So, uh, the fact that uh, the favourite coming in here uh, is shade of odds on for John Joe O'Neill Jr. and John Joe O'Neill, father trainer, is a shade of odds on, but he's coming back from a break, which, you know, it's not ideal. And the handicapper might be just catching up with him now, he's after winning his last four in a row I think and uh, four or five I think it's four he's won in a row and uh, you know the handicapper is going to catch up with him at some stage so maybe this could be the time to take him on when he's coming back after a break there's another decent horse in the race second favourite called Howling Milan uh, he'd be dangerous now he definitely would be a live one but uh, his trainer Samuel Drinkwater uh, I find year after year with his horse now he's a very good trainer very very good trainer and the horses are running really well lately I think he won the bumper there on Plumpton today, but um, I just feel that uh, a lot of the times his horses progress for a run, especially coming back after a break. And this fella has been no different throughout his career. Uh, he's you know he's been around now a fair bit, and every time he's come back after a break, uh, he's needed it and he's been poor. So maybe tomorrow might be different. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna I'm willing to take a chance that he might need to run. I wouldn't be surprised if either of them won. Because they, they do probably have a, a small bit of a class edge on the rest of the horses in this race. Third favourite, Zebra. Uh, he's steadily improving. He's consistent, but he's not up to much, I don't think. And this race might be just a bit step too far for him. And uh, The handicap, you know, he's edging up the handicap as well there. He's consistent, but he's not much good. I don't, you know, he's just a moderate enough horse. I would be disappointed if Moroman... Uh, couldn't win this really. Uh, two mile five is perfect. Good ground, perfect. Abby McCain has won on him before. And uh, you know, left handed go. He goes well left handed. He jumps very fluently. Uh, two mile seven probably stressed him a bit the last day. He's back to two mile five today. He'll just, uh, you know, he should be sitting in there fourth or fifth, just stalking away and uh, hopefully come with a good rattle there. You know, in between the last two hurdles and just keep going strong enough. Uh, that run that he his win in Weatherby I thought was it's a while ago now but anything similar to that uh, he wins this he's down in the handicap to I think a mark of 116 117 or something like that he's been as high as 125 maybe a bit more uh, but one way or the other no matter what way he dressed it up I think he's primed for a big run here and I think at 13 to 2 he's overpriced I'm making a two point each way selection um, just one selection for me tomorrow. There will be a, a more than one tomorrow, uh, or the, the day after tomorrow. I have a few uh, good ones in mind. Uh, but the way it is with me, I not, I don't do the scattergun approach. You know, I'm not going to tip 
14 horses in a day and then claim to tip oh i tipped three or four winners today blah 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 some lads you know acting the bollocks like you know what i mean the way me and paddy do it is just we try and study form there's none of this oh, i heard from the trainer or i heard from the stable any of that bollocksology it's just proper form study and it'll work it works in the long run as so you go back through since we started you know i keep saying it but if you stick to the point system you will win in the long run you know we were unlucky yesterday not to get a right touch today we were never in any danger that we weren't going to get reached way money back in another day if the winner hadn't got so far clear a freebie out in front uh we might have won but not making any excuses for today now probably just wasn't good enough but uh definitely a race that she's my doll but like it's all it's just steady with us you know what i mean and then when the big days come we hit, hit them they will come they always do so you just have to be a little bit patient we're not we're not into trying to make you know thousands uh you're not going to be rich after one or two days doing it it's a long drawn out process it's just chipping away chipping away chipping away and then when the big day comes it's bang you know and that does you then till the rest of the year <laughs> or whatever so yeah so anyway uh thanks for following and have a few quid in that lad tomorrow i think he'll run really well please god he should be there or thereabouts and uh yeah as i was saying the other day uh, tuesday i think it's going to be a good day so make sure you call back here tomorrow night and we'll get the wheels in motion for hopefully what could be a right good week all right so joe value for cold beer sports over and out thanks a million like and share and subscribe and all that jazz with the channel you know it's appreciated it helps the whole channel out so take care now enjoy the rest of the weekend joe value cold beer sports